Hey, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Happy Friday to you, and thank you for tuning in. Tonight we are back with another episode of the Weekly Recap, where I'm going to showcase things I've picked up over the last few days. We got some mail to open, a big, huge, heavy box weighing over 35 pounds sent in from a subscriber. We also have a subscription box that came in a couple days ago. We'll be checking that out in a second. And also some... 2017 clearance packs that I picked up today that I'm pretty eager to rip into and check out and see if we can find some key rookies, some parallels, numbered cards, etc. And also picked up a big tote of vintage toys. So let's go ahead and check everything out right now. So first off, we're going to start with this big tote of figures that I picked up two days ago. I actually found this ad on Facebook Marketplace. This lady was selling a big tote full of vintage TMNT figures from the late 80s, early 90s. And it was only 25 bucks. I'm like, holy crap. That is an amazing deal for that. It's a five-gallon tub full of figures. It's like, I need to get that. I messaged her. She said that it was pending pickup. And I was like, well, ah, oh, geez. Maybe she's bluffing. And I was like, I'll give you 50 bucks for that whole tote. And then she was like, okay, well, if they don't pick up in an hour, then I'll meet you tomorrow for 50 bucks, blah, blah. So the deal fell through the original one. She met me the next morning, and I got this entire tub full of TMNT figures and i'm pretty excited about it. i'm gonna do a separate video about this here coming in the next few days so diving right into this week's mail sent in by subscribers this is the first one i opened this a couple days ago this is from jennifer zimmerman you guys may know her she also has her own youtube channel does uh lots of card rips and whatnot um but she messaged me asked me if i'd be interested and i said definitely i'm definitely going to be starting a retro gaming night sometime in the future i need to get an nes and some other systems first as I don't know what happened to the ones from my childhood, but we'll be doing that in the future. The Ultimate Unauthorized Nintendo Game Strategies Volume 2. Her and her husband Scott had this laying around, I guess, and decided to donate it to the channel. And it could definitely come in, uh, in, in handy and uh, be useful for us here in that uh, future series we'll be doing. But lots of kind of big name games that are in here. Ninja Gaiden. DuckTales, one of my favorites ever. Love that game so much. Baseball Simulator 1000. Uh, TMNT, of course, Paperboy, and we all remember those. Willow, Baseball Stars, the game. Super Mario Land, lots of good games on here. Um, so thank you once again, Jennifer. Really appreciate that. This is like the Game Genie in print form. So pretty sweet. Looking forward to checking that out. I uh, have something I'll be sending out to you here soon, Jennifer, that I think that you will enjoy. So thanks again. And then the next one, we go, I'm going to push these packs off to the side. The next one sent in by Jay. This is actually a new subscription box he started up, jampacks.net. Um, and this is his old school jam box subscription that he sent me. We're we'll be doing a product review on this either this weekend or early next week. So keep an eye out for that. It looks pretty freaking awesome. Excited to dive into that and check out what's in there with you guys. And then we go on to these huge 35 pound box. Sent in by Chad Hopkins. This thing is massive. The postal worker wasn't too thrilled when she had to pick this up on the counter. But um, I can only imagine what's in here. Chad Hopkins, obviously a good friend of the channel. I actually met him at the National. Really awesome dude. We keep in contact via email and whatnot. But uh, I have no idea what's in here, so let's check it out. Yeah, we have a note on top. Looks like there's a ton of goodies in here from Chad. Let's see what the note says. Make sure there's no address on here. It's like a lot of awesome stuff in here. Let's see a Bruno VHS tape. Chad sent a ton of Bruno stuff in a package a few months ago. It says, John, here's the box I promised to send a while ago. The traded sets are missing, the Bonds and Griffies, but you can pass along to Patreon, etc. I found the Bruce Willis Bruno Christmas VHS for you. That's awesome, man. Also thought the sealed superstar card set was cool. Plus the ball to the groin, whole set for you to enjoy. That is awesome, man. I've been wanting that. I know the magazines you enjoy. And I know, you, I, I know, or I now just collect the almanacs. You keep what you need and pass the rest on. Hope you enjoy it. I know you have had lots of things going on lately, but pray that you will keep rocking the videos. It definitely keep me going and want to share more of my collection too. That is awesome, man. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Lastly, please keep me posted if you guys are coming my way. You are most welcome to stay at our condo. Save some money. Love to have you visit. Talk soon and stay rad. Your buddy, Chad. Thanks so much for the awesome note, Chad. Really appreciate that, man. You're a great guy. 
and uh, definitely may take you up on that offer if we head down to Florida anytime soon. Glad you're doing well. Here's the Bruno VHS tape, the Christmas special, the last Christmas. Pretty freaking awesome. Like I said, Chad sent a ton of Bruno stuff several months ago. This is a cartoon from the late 90s um, featuring the voice of Bruce Willis. So stoked to check that out. I actually have a VHS uh, combo player now. So I uh, love getting these old, older cartoon VHS tapes when I see them at thrift stores and whatnot. I have them, the, have them on the background and stuff while I'm doing things around my house. And we have a TMNT towel, it looks like. This is pretty awesome. Or a TMNT wash rag, maybe. I'm not sure. It looks like it's a vintage logo, but I know that Dollar Tree just brought these back recently. So pretty curious about that. Nickelodeon 2018. That's got to be what it is then. Pretty freaking awesome, though. That goes very well with the theme of this week. We're finding that big TMNT haul that um, we'll be checking out here in a few days. Really like that a lot, Chad. And here is the infamous Pro Card set. Oh, nice. It's already open, too. With the legendary ball to the groin card. And you guys are Sandy Alomar. Carlos Bayerga. Gerald Clark. So some names we recognize in here. Keith Comstock. Ball to the groin card. What an epic legendary card that is. That is amazing. Love that. Thanks so much, Chad. Super happy to have that in my PC. Does these sets still sell for a decent amount of money? And that card definitely does too. I'd never ever heard of that until um I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, someone someone mentioned it to me and I looked it up and was like, wow, that is epic. I need to have that in my PC. <laughs> Amazing Keith Comstock card. Thanks so much, Chad. That is legendary. Like I said, like he said in the note, he collects baseball almanacs. So I think he collects any sport almanacs. So if you have any, please get in contact with me. I'll be willing to buy them off you. Also, um, Buck Showalter as well. Anything Buck Showalter, if you have any kind of collectibles, whatever it could be, let me know or let Chad know. Like I said, I'll purchase them from you. I'd like to get some stuff out to Chad here too. And Chad also has a YouTube YouTube channel, which I'll link down below along with Jennifer's. And here's a Superstar Baseball card set. Wow, this is pretty awesome. The entire set. Eight different uh, stacks here. I remember these. This is pretty awesome. I definitely used to have some of these when I was a kid. Strawberry Grace, Big Mac, Boggs, and Donnie. Long John Silvers. Those are really cool novelty cards. So that's like the complete set, I guess. So 40 cards. That is pretty awesome. I'd like to rip into these and check them out, but at the same time, I kind of want to leave them sealed. Really cool. I definitely remember having a couple of those at least. Here's the 89 score traded set. I think he said this is missing the Griffey. Or one of these is missing the Griffey. There's some decent rookies in here, though, overall. 89 score traded. And 86 tops traded. That's a really good one. And 89 tops traded. That's also the one with Griffey. A couple other ones in there as well. Deion Sanders, etc. Jim Abbott's in there. Really awesome sets. Thanks so much, Chad. Love uh, going through those. And some Beckett's, too. I kind of had a feeling there'd be Beckett's in here. Thank you so much, man. March 86. That might be the oldest one I have with Doc Gooden on the front. Chad was collecting uh, Beckett's for a while there, and he kind of switched over just only collecting Almanacs. And um, I just recently started collecting Beckett's, too. People would send me them here and there. I was like, you know what? I should start trying to actually collect these. I, I love Beckett so much whenever, whenever I was a kid. Every single morning, I'd be eating cereal and going through Beckett, checking all the prices and whatnot, so I got a box that I've been sleeving up like this and putting them in and going back every once in a while and checking them out, but these, that's, that Doc Gooden one is one I've never seen before, so that's freaking awesome. Here's one with Ruben Sierra on the front, January 1990. I still have a lot of my old ones at my parents' house, but I feel like a lot of them got thrown away uh, years ago. Sierra on the front, Sabre hanging, his rookie card on the back, 95 Don Ross. There's a Bo Jackson one, 1990. I don't remember what year the first Beckett that Eric and I got was. Usually I feel like our mom would make us, we'd buy one and have to share it. It was kind of a rare occasion when we both get Beckett's. Mark Grace on the cover of that one, April 1990. Another one from 1990 with Donnie on the front. And these are some that I never, never see. Um, the Bo Jackson one was definitely a legendary one back then. To match the 90 score football baseball card. Definitely remember that one being a hot one back then. Griffey on the front of this one from 1990. So there's a ton here. 
Wow, this is incredible. Ryan Sandberg. We definitely had this one. This might be the, one of the first Becketts that I ever owned as a kid from August 1990. Henderson on the front of this one. There's Conseco, Bonds. This is so cool. Thank you so much, Chad. I've been keeping an eye out for Becketts, which is baseball Becketts, just to try to get more of these from my personal collection because I love going through these. So awesome. Going to 1991 with Brett. Normal Griffey on the front here. Henderson. I remember seeing that one back in the day. And pull the stick one out. Baseball card price by number 10 um, from Beckett. I'm not sure what year this is. Number 10, probably. 1988 this came out. These ones are always cool, too. Never had too many of these whenever I was a kid. Maybe like one of them. They had like pocket guides that they made that were a little smaller than that. There's one with Ripken on the front from 91. So he, these are like in chronological order too. And here's one, how to how to tr buy, trade, and invest in baseball cards. That's an interesting one. Looks to be like it's somewhat newer. Maybe not, but it's in very good condition if not. I'm trying to find a year here. That's interesting. Yeah, it's probably older. Actually, 1989. This looks like a pretty cool read. Buying baseball cards, collections, putting together a collection, buying on a budget. That's interesting. Definitely have to check that out this weekend. Thanks so much, Chad. Looking forward to reading that. This is one I've never seen before either from June 91. And definitely had that one as a kid. That legendary Clemens 84 Fleur update. Still trying to track that one down. It's an expensive card. It's all the national, but um, usually... Usually the dealers went well over 100 bucks for it. Uh, it's kind of hard to find it for less than that. McGriff and Gwynn from August 91. Dave Justice, also 91. And The Big Hurt. These are all already in poly bags too, which is awesome. Bo Jackson, Cecil Fielder. Nolan Ryan on his ranch. Ozzie Smith from February 92. Remember these Ultra Pro Beckett sleeves? I forgot all about those. Ripken on the cover of March 92. Frank Thomas. I think that's like the exact same picture from his 92 Tops card. Him sitting down there. All the balls in the background. Steve Avery made on the cover of May 92. His 92 Fleer card. See a pocket from June 92. Still a lot more stuff in here. Dion. There's a lot of Beckett's in here. Holy crap. And there's a DVD. Oh, Wow. The complete series of cops. That is freaking awesome. Chad, thanks so much, man. I have this already. I bought this like as soon as it came out, pretty much. Probably came out like 10 years ago, maybe a little later than that. But um, I obviously ripped open mine. I think the one that I have is a little different than this one. I thought about buying this one um, just to have a different a different um, version of it. I want to say the one that, that, that uh, made mine was cookie jar i want to say this is mill creek so very cool stuff and i think the one that i have is like very janky like um the dvds are like in paper sleeves so this one looks a lot better produced thank you so much man that is freaking awesome i, I love cough so much love the toy line love the cartoon i kind of want to open that now to see the difference between that one and the cookie jar version and there's another one baseball cards making money with baseball cards a handbook of insider secrets and strategies. Greg Jeffries, 88 Fleer rookie card in the front there. That's pretty hilarious. So this has got to be from the late 80s, early 90s. Pretty freaking awesome. Looking forward to reading that one too. So this probably, there's a ton more Beckett's. That's why I was so heavy. Still a lot more in here. I'm, I'm not going to show all those individually, but um, we have number 11 here. Baseball card price guide from Beckett. Probably came out in 1990. Pretty awesome. As you can see, there are Big Macs in the front of that one, Robin Yount. Thanks so much, Chad. This is absolutely amazing, man. You don't have to send all this stuff. But I definitely will cherish it and add all these Beckett's to my, my collection and have a great time going through all this. This is absolutely amazing. Like I said, if you have any almanacs, please let me know or let Chad Hawkins know. I'll be willing to purchase them from you and um, send them to Chad Chad's way. Also, Buck Showalter stuff as well. And please check out his channel and Give him a sub. He's a great dude. That takes us down to our last order of business here. 
We rip in five fat packs of 2017 Series 2. And there's a lot of pretty valuable short prints to be found in Series 2. And some decent rookies overall as well. So I picked these up today. They're clearance packs. I'm hoping that and we can find some decent rookies. Maybe some short prints. Maybe some parallels, numbered cards, etc., etc. world must be ending with me buying newer cards. I don't, can't say I've ever opened a pack of 2017 tops, but pretty excited about it, though, overall. If I pass over any short prints, let me know if you guys realize it. My eye for them is not very good. Corey Kluber. Many more go. Rookie card there. It's a decent one. And Wilson Contreras, um, gold maybe, and it's numbered 1895 out of 2017, so that's pretty cool. And a Henderson, memorable moments. Chris Bryant, and a nice Ripken, MVP All-Star game. They have one MVP card per pack in these fat packs. Smoltz, All-Star card, and there's a first nice rookie there, Trey Mancini. Not a bad one at all. Didn't have that on my PC either. And Gavin Ciccini as well. Also his rookie card. Didn't have that one. Pretty cool. McCutcheon. You Darvish. Aaron Otto. A Trevor Rosenthal with a kind of a blemish on there. Hmm. Garrett Cole. Nice one. And James Paxton, another blemish on that one too. It's kind of weird. Not a bad first pack there. Check out and see what we got in this next one. Chris Davis. Team card, Brian Dozier. No will find a Hunter Renfro in here or Hunter Dozier. J.J. Hardy, Chris Bryant, the 87 Tops design, Anthony Rizzo. Real moments, Corey Seager. And a Piazza All-Star MVP. That's pretty cool. Rod Carew. I don't think any of those are numbered, I doubt it. Robin Quinn. And there's Hunter Dozier. Nice. Did not have that in my PC either. Granky, Tyler Collins, Kyle Seeger, Yachty, Altuve. Not bad at all. Two, uh, actually, I think, what, three rookie cards I didn't have. Pretty awesome. There was like seven packs of these, and I bought five of them just to test my luck. Really wanted to rip up some packs. Especially as something I have not seen before, really. I mean, I've seen these, but I've never opened a pack of them, not to my memory at least. Matt Holliday. And a Rizzo. Tigers card. Hanley Ramirez. Longoria. Josh Bell rookie card. 87 tops design. Did not have that one either. And a parallel here of some kind. Never seen these before. There's a refractor. Looks like it to me, at least. Mike Trout, Merrill Moments, not a bad one. Verlander, nice one there. And a Griffey, MVP, like that one. Juan, Jose Martinez, rookie card, is a decent one. Puig. Trevor Bauer. Not too shabby. Two packs left. Play some rookies I did not have, so pretty excited about that. Zach Wheeler. Joey Votto. Hunter Renfro, and it's a parallel, too. That's pretty freaking awesome. 
And it's numbered 1990 out of 2017. I did not have the regular base version of this card, so that is pretty freaking cool to get uh, the rookie parallel. I like that a lot. Fisk moments, Almar, Ted Williams. A uh, show code here. I don't know any about these. I have no idea. But if you're if you're able to use it, have at it. Matt Olson rookie card didn't have that one either. Another nice one. Another Jose Martinez. Matt Cain. Dexter Fowler and Cindergard. Not too bad. I might have to pick up some more of these if I see them. They're pretty fun. Well, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you if there's any short prints in that stack we just opened up. We'll have to go back and look at the backs, I guess. I do not have an eye for short prints. I don't really know anything about them, but I think it's pretty interesting. Now, Matt Holiday, so kind of a repeat pack starting off here. It's a nice Yelich. R.A. Dickey. Brennan Maurer, and Bryce Harper, Nolan Ryan, nice one, Chris Bryant, Milky Cabrera, Sandberg, another Yasel Puig, so not too bad, some cool cards in there, I definitely had a good time opening these up. And I uh, got some rookies I needed for my PC, too, as well. So definitely um, worth the 5 bucks a pack, I think so, at least, for some fun and whatnot. And the chance of pulling something great, I might pick up some more of those here in the future. But uh, that is it for the weekly recap. Got a lot of videos planned for you guys coming up very soon. Um, Terrell's video will be doing a video on the Jam Packs. Old school Jam Box. Excited about that. And I uh, got some other ones lined up as well. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching.